So this is just going to be a quick video where we talk about some harder examples of linear inequalities. Specifically, they're going to be two-sided examples. So this is a two-sided example uh, in front of you. So you have minus 1 less than or equal to 2x plus 4 over 3 less than 2. So there, there are two inequality signs in one line, and that makes it a two-sided example. So the way you're going to solve ones like this is you're going to break it up into two chunks. So the first one is going to be just the left-hand side. You're going to say minus 1 is less than or equal to 2x plus 4 all over 3. And then on the other side, you're going to write 2x plus 4 over 3 is less than 2. Okay, so you have two different questions you have to solve there. Uh, so this one here, I'm going to work on the left. I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. We're going to be minus 3 uh, less than or equal to 2x plus 4. And again, we didn't have to change the sign because uh, just we multiplied by plus 3, which is a positive number. Um, and now I'm going to move the 4 over. So we're going to have minus 7 less than or equal to 2x. And then divide both sides by 2. We're going to get minus 7 over 2 less than or equal to x. And I'm going to solve this one on the other side. I'm going to use red. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 again. I'm going to get 2x plus 4 is less than 6. I'm going to move this 4 over. I'm going to get that 2x is less than uh, 2, because 6 minus 4 is going to be 2. And then x is less than 1. So our answer then is you have to combine the two different answers into one line. So it's going to look something like this. It's going to be, so minus 7 over 2 is just minus 3.5. So I'm going to write minus 3.5 less than or equal to x less than 1. Okay, so that's, that gives a, a kind of a gap for x. So x can be any number between minus 3.5 and 1. And that's what that line means there. Okay, and that's how you solve uh, these two-sided examples of linear inequalities because you get kind of, two intervals, so ha x has to be between minus 3.5 and 1. So that's again what this line means. So I'm going to give you one example, you guys can try it, uh, and you can let me know what you think down in the comments, all right? So the example I'll give is, I'll just say example is going to be minus 4 less than minus, okay, actually, right, I'll rewrite that a better way, it's minus x plus 2 over 3 less than or equal to minus 3. Okay, so that one's going to be a little bit tricky, um, but I'll let you guys give it a shot anyway. Let us know what you think down in the comments, and we will let you know how you fare. Okay, good luck to that one anyway, and then we will see you next video where we're going to look at um, quadratic inequalities. So here they're just linear. We're going to have the power of x squared in the next example of inequalities. So we'll see you then.